Hello family, Pastor Alawu here from Christian Pentecostal Church, and we'll continue our devotional series. Lately we've been uh, talking about the Ten Commandments, and today we're on commandment number five. But uh, the, in case you've missed the early videos, the reason we've been focusing on the Ten Commandments is because we started uh, off talking about, you know, where we are currently in, in our state of affairs in this world as it is, and uh, the Christian's desire for change. The Christian's desire for God's intervention, and uh, we touched on the verse in Second Chronicles chapter seven, verse fourteen, which says, "If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and turn from their wicked ways and seek my face, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land." And you know, the 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 key part. That was, you know, they have my people who are called by my name. So it's not that, that we look to the world to say, hey, change, right? But it's a matter of us Christians who are called by the name of Jesus Christ would turn from our wicked ways if we will humble ourselves and pray. So we decided to dive down the road of the Ten Commandments and just talk about how can we humble ourselves and how can we seek God's face. And Christ said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So that's why we end up now on commandment number five. That's why we've been going down the road we've been going. And so commandment number five says, honor thy father and mother. Honor thy father and mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth. And I really believe that, you know, um, in the verse in Chronicles, where if my people humble on themselves, I believe this commandment, commandment number five, is a great highlight of how, an example of how we should humble ourselves. Now, honor thy father and my mother. You know, I want today I just want to focus on one specific portion of that entire commandment. And that com the portion, that word specifically is the word honor. Now, we know that, that the word honor at times is synonymous with the word respect or giving, the giving of respect. But, you know, in American culture and, and you know, just a phrase saying in the world in general, there's a statement that says respect is not given, it's earned. Or respect is earned, not given. But I dare to say that the Bible runs counterculture. In a sense, the Bible does not say respect is earned, not given. It says respect is given. And we know that because it says honor thy father and thy mother. Now, it doesn't say honor thy father and thy mother because of anything they did for you. It's not because they, you know, um, I don't know, clothed you, fed you, um, sent you to school, cared for you. It's not even because they did the worst things to you that you should dare, dare to honor them. It says you should honor your father and mother not because of their actions, not because of their deeds, but because of their position. That the fact that they, God has made them your father and your mother is the reason why you should give them the due respect, is the reason why you should honor them. And that in itself is humility. Because the thing is, no matter what they do, it's because of the position that you submit. No matter whether they're the best, no matter whether they're the worst, you submit, you give them the honor that is due unto them. And the thing is, when we think about that, and then we think in ju juxtaposition to God, because I truly believe that any commandment God gives, it's all for his glory at the end of the day. You know, simply, because of God's position, should we give him honor? Simply because of who he is, simply because he is God, should we give him honor and give him respect? Not because of anything he has ever done. You know, there's simply, there's this song, you deserve it. He deserves our honor and our respect just because he is God. When we learn that position, when we learn his position in juxtaposition to ours, humility comes immediately. And it's the same concept that when you talk about honor your father and your mother. But today, just for today, I just wanted to focus on that portion. The word honor 
in relation to position. So God bless you. And may we humble ourselves before the mighty hand of God because he is God and he is mighty.